What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. Oh yeah guys, so last episode we were starting to work towards getting ourselves some weather skeletons and we made ourselves the mob grinder from Draconic Evolution. If we want to get ourselves some nether stars, today we're going to continue on that. But first, we're going to take a look at the quest book because, yeah, since we completed the Sterling Generator last episode, we did this quest... We unlocked a bunch of other quests that we've already done without even trying. <laughs> so yes, we got Pulver Sagging. Pulver Sagging. Uh, anyway, so this says Craft the Pulverizer and Sag Mill. Yep, we've already done both of these things. Normal progression. So this is going to give us a tier 1 chance pendant. Awesome. I was wondering how we were going to get these. This is how we're going to get them, apparently. Some Ferris Ore and a Chance Cube. And then we can choose... Either Lapis, Iron, or Gold. We'll probably choose the Lapis. I would like that so we can get put Looting or Fortune on a tool should we choose to. Uh, let's go ahead and claim this. Cool. So, increases the chance of chance cubes by plus 10 when the block is broken. Only needs to be in the player's inventory to work. All right. So, we saw with the chance cube scanner before, like, some of them have, like, low numbers, like, in the negatives. Some of them have high numbers. So, I assume this is just going to add to that total when we break the block. I don't know how this all works. Never really mess with chance cubes that much. Anyway, let's continue on with the quest book. So the next one that we have completed is the alloy smelter. Uh, so this is craft an alloy smelter and redstone furnace. We have done both of these things already just by normally playing. So chance cube we're going to get and they can give us one of these or a reward bag. I think we did the right reward bag last time. Let's do left reward bag. We really don't need these because we have a lot of them anyway from our loot bags. Let's claim this reward. So this is a greater reward bag, and we are going to get ourselves a redstone engine in a filler. Mm. So this is a common reward. At least it's not a crap reward, right? So that's good, I guess. We don't need either of those at the moment. It might in the future. I don't know. But anyway, we'll continue on here. So induction, outduction. Induction, outduction. Okay. <laughs> Craft an induction smelter. Yep, we've already done this. So chance cube, left reward, claim it. I guess I'll take my hammer off the bar. So this is a good bag, and we got another common one. Needle gun plus needle gun ammo. Sewage. So does that just affect, like, mobs with sewage? Like, the negative effects of that? I don't know. We only have four rounds. What does this thing look like? Mine factory reloaded. Oh, we have to load the ammo. Oh, right. I don't think you can zoom in. I think as soon as you... Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I just lost. <laughs> I just lost a shot. That's fine. Can I shift right click? Yeah, three rounds left. Okay, I don't think this is something we're going to be using, but that's kind of cool. I used this a little bit. I think a crash landing, but that mod pack was like forever ago. Let's continue on with the quest book here. So we have a solid smelting completed. And in order to do this quest, we needed to craft a magma crucible. Again, we've done this already. So that's going to give us chance cube, left reward bag, claim it. And it's a greater reward bag. What are we getting? We are getting an uncommon reward. It's a bunch of these things. Okay, that's cool. Do they stack? They stack. Okay. <laughs> so making sure there like, wasn't some different chance value on them or whatever. No, they all stack, so that's good. All right, so we'll continue on with our quest once again. We got fluid forming. This one right here wants us to craft the fluid transposer, which we did to make our tesseracts. So we've already done this. Left reward bag. Claim it. It's an epic one. Common reward. Day blooms. Hmm. I don't know if this mod pack has the the passive generating flowers for Batania so they die off after three days. I know that's an option that I found out about through my Infinity Evolved playthrough, but I know it's an option she can turn on and off in the mod pack. So I guess we'll have to find that out sometime in the future when we jump into Batania, but that's not today. Uh, and finally, Infinite. So these are slightly buggy. Can use them just fine. <laughs> Can use them fine. Just click them without a modded item in your hand. Yeah, Tesseracts, I have found out. Like, if you have a stack of those and you place one and then you right click it again, like almost immediately with like a Tesseract in your hand, like I said, yeah, you will crash your game. But I don't know what the problem is with that. Hmm. Or maybe, no, the Tesseracts don't stack, right? So you place one and then. Uh, inventory tweaks auto fills your slot, so then you right click it immediately. Yeah. Anyway, that I have seen that before. It crashes your game. It's not good. So chance cube full heart, and we'll do left reward bag once again. And I didn't click claim reward. Let's do that. Legendary. 
Plain reward. Well, it's a bunch of different food. Fries, cola, soda, jelly donut, supreme pizza, and bacon cheeseburger. Um... So this should fill up my entire, yeah, that like all full saturation. I think it's full hunger as well. So these Supreme pizzas are pretty good. Yeah, you can see right there. I guess it's not full hunger. It's one, two, three, four, five, six and a half haunches, but it is full saturation. I do believe either way. These are really good. Uh, let's see what else. What do we have in the, in the, uh, the quest book now? So we can go over and start doing a little bit more thermal expansion. We can do the nullifier. This has got a Wither Skeleton on there. I didn't notice this before, but since we were working with Wither Skeletons, we might want to make it towards this quest. So the Nullifier wants us to make a Nullifier and the Augment Nullification Chamber. Yep. So let's go ahead and work on these real quick. We'll bust these out, and then we will start working on what we were working on last episode, trying to get some Wither Skeletons. So a Nullifier. To make one of these, we need... Two tin gears and a pneumatic servo. We really don't have to make these pneumatic servos very often anymore, which is kind of kind of weird because like a thermal expansion, I think at 1.6, you had to make these all the time. And then they changed it. It's like you rarely make them anymore. <laughs> okay, so we can do, click this, shift click. We don't have a bucket of lava. Do we have bucket? That block, we want buck. We do have buckets, but we don't have the lava. We got some out here. Got it. Bucket of lava. All right. So we'll put that. Oh, I should have just whatever. We'll we'll shift click the question mark. So there's the nullifier, and to make the nullification chamber, it is relatively the same thing. Let me just go ahead and get another bucket of lava, and we will just place it right there. Cool. All right. So both of those are done. The nullifier is basically a trash can. I cannot remember if you can pipe liquids into this. Or if it's just items. Either way, it's like a trash can. So if you don't have extra utilities installed, that would be how you could trash items. Uh, and the nullification augment, yeah, destroys excess secondary outputs. So for instance, on our pulverizer over here, when we're pulverizing cobblestone, we get gravel. We have a secondary output of sand. If this fills up, it stops working. So if we had that augment in here, if this fills up, it'll just keep going, but it'll delete all the extras. So that can be good for some uses. I don't know if we're going to do it though. We'll put that away for now. I guess we can put away all this food stuff for now as well. Chance cubes, all of this. Uh, we don't need that and that or that. This, that, those. <laughs> so much stuff in my inventory. Uh, we might keep the... No, we're going to put those away and this. Okay, so uh, we got that done. This quest is complete. Let's claim our left reward bag. This is a greater reward bag and yeah, we got a full heart. Cool. So we have two of these. Let's go and eat these. So we have seven remaining, eight lives remaining. Not bad at all. So I'm questioning this one. The weather, the wither, not weather, <laughs> the wither repeatable quest. Cool down on completion. All right. Don't add a command block to this. What? Oh, I assume this quest was probably one they messed up earlier and they had a command block instead of like a chance cube. I don't know. I don't get it. So this wants us to kill a wither boss. Uh, just one. So one wither boss will complete this task. So this will be something we'll look at in the future because right now we are set up uh, with the mob grinder, this, and a tesseract. We are set up to do this automatically. So we'll look at probably making one of those crazy overpowered... Extra tinkers, construct, crossbows. <laughs> Let's go check on the mob farm. I'm curious to see how this thing is working now. Did you just hear a slime? I'm hearing a slime in there. Let's take a look at that in a second. All right, so I just cleared out all of these different necrotic bones. So we still have those in there. We still have not gotten any wither skeleton skulls. A little disappointed about that. Let's turn the magnet on. So what is going on in here? Oh. It's a little baby blue slime, and it is not floating. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. We'll leave that alone. It'll despawn or something over time. Cool. Well, the next thing we should do is we should start looking at continuing on what we were doing in the last episode. 
That was trying to capture a wi or I'm sorry, a regular skeleton with the safari net, and we we're gonna spawn it with an auto spawner. So the auto spawner, let's make one of these. Uh, we need magma cream machine frame, or we can do a different recipe here with some sugar and this that requires the factory machine block, which requires all of this mechanism stuff. Uh, the there's an ender IO recipe. We have to make the Z logic with the slice and splice. I think it's easiest just to do the machine frame. So we're going to do it this method, the thermal expansion way. All right. So we'll make that and that and that. What else do we need? We need one of these redstone reception coils, the gold one. And I think we should, well, do we have magma cream? I don't think we have magma cream. All right, so the magma cream is made with slime, coagulated blood, ball of glue, pink slime ball, gelatinous slime. Do we have any of these? We do have that. Why don't we have blaze powder? I thought we were getting blaze powder from something from sifting dust, right? Did we use it all? We must have used it all. Do we have any dust? We have 14 pieces of dust. All right, so what I might do is make some more dust, run it through the sieve until we get, how many do we need? Two blaze powders? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that until we get two blaze powders and we'll be right back, guys. Well, cool, that didn't take much time at all. Yeah, we had four of them after one stack, but while I was waiting on more of them to, to go through, I pulverized another stack of dust. Well, I guess another stack of cobblestone, which turned into a stack plus eight dust. But anyway, that's what we got going on over there. So, auto spawner, we got it now. Let's go ahead and craft it. We have this, we have the safari net. The next step is we need to get ourselves a skeleton. Then we need to look at getting mob essence for this thing, which I do believe we can turn liquid XP into mob essence simply by using a sewer and an XP drain, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, since we're looking for a regular skeleton, we need... Did you see a spider? Am I hearing a spider? Is there still that slime back there? I think that slime's still back there. Um, yeah, we need to get ourselves... I can't... I was going to try and kill the slime through the other side. A regular skeleton is what we need. Um, I don't have... What is that? Eye of the storm. That must be something new. I don't recall seeing that. What I need to do is I need to get myself two empty buckets so I can pick up that witch water. Which, oh, I'm sorry, bucket. I'm, ty I'm typing witch when I need a bucket to get the witch water. All right, cool. Let's come over here and we'll get this stuff real quick. Is there anything else in here that you should know about? Oh, that blue slime just killing stuff without the water on there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so anyway, uh, we have the witch water out of there. We just need to back up. Uh, I don't think the mobs will kill themselves now. We just need to back up, wait for a skeleton to spawn in there, and snatch it up with our safari net. Then we can try and safely spawn it in an area and make it run through witch water, which will turn it into a wither skeleton, and then we'll look at making ourselves a tool that we can get the mob heads a little bit easier. I believe the, um, what is it called? The cleaver from Tinkers is what we're going to want. Do we have a skeleton? I see there's like a witch in there and some creepers. I guess that's a zombie. Get out of here. Don't like you. All right. Yeah, we'll wait for a skeleton to spawn. We'll snatch one up. All right, well, I'll tell you guys what. Let's wait for, the oh, no, no, no. We got one right there. I see it on the mini map. Let's grab it. Come here, skeleton. Got something for you. Mine. Did I get it? I got it. All right, now these guys are all fighting. <laughs> okay, cool. Inventory's full. Uh, we should probably put the witch water back and let this thing just go like it was going a minute ago. Yeah, the, the mob farm is not set up to be automatic anymore without the witch water. Just had to rearrange everything. But, yeah, we should be good to go if we just walk away now. Okay, cool. So we can take the stuff that we have... And we can start setting up another spawner. Something more specific. Uh, I want to clean out my inventory so I actually have room to do stuff. Soil and green. Wow, that is like full saturation as well. Interesting. Uh, loot bags. We're going to have to figure out all this armor. Okay. I'll figure that all out in a minute. Cool. All right. So we have the auto spawner. Let's make ourselves an XP drain. 
No, not an XP drain. I'm sorry, an XP shower. Yeah, this way we can take liquid XP and turn it into orb form once again. So we'll do that, and then we need to make ourselves a sewer. S-E-W-E-R. Okay. So the sewer, we can use a machine frame, or we can do the factory block. I saw that we already had an extra machine frame that I must have made at some other time previously, so we'll go ahead and do the thermal expansion way once again. We are missing bricks, so do we have any clay balls? We do. And just go and run this through our redstone furnace over here real quick. Cool. Yeah, we get Endermen because of that witch water, they teleport out, and then when it's raining, they freak out. Uh, <laughs> so that's a thing. Can't leave the witch water in there forever and not in this dimension. All right, so there's our sewer. I, how many more machine frames did I make? I know. Okay, well, I guess I must have made two extra for some reason. So we have our sewers. We have our XP drain. We need to turn off the magnet because that does suck in XP orbs. We don't want that happening. So we need another, like, a drum or a tank. Probably let's make another drum. We'll do this. We should have everything available. I think I should have enough iron in the system. There's that. There's a drum. Cool. All right. So XP drain sewer. No, we need the drum right here. Sewer. Then we can do the XP shower right off this tank. That should work just fine. Yep. And now we're collecting essence. So the essence we need to pump into the auto spawner. The auto spawner just needs a little bit of power and some essence and a safari net to spawn in mobs. Cool. Well, let's wait for this to happen. I'm going to try and collect a decent amount of this essence so we can do a decent amount of skeletons. We'll set this up in a spot. We might do it in the mining world. Doesn't really matter. But anyway, let me go ahead and get some stuff done, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've been doing some stuff off camera here, and I got a bunch of parts ready to go to make ourselves an Enderium Cleaver. Yes, so we're doing an Enderium Large Sword Blade. We're doing this because of the high attack damage that this has. We're doing two manual and tough rods because of the durability modifiers. And finally, we're doing an Obsidian Large Plate for Reinforce, so it'll last longer. So all of this stuff combined, we have a effective durability of 9,541. Chance to behead 20%. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll make this thing. So what we can do is we can put obsidian plus an ender pearl. We'll grab one piece of obsidian and an and and an, and an ender pearl. Ender pearl. Yes, each one of these combinations on here will increase the beheading chance by one. I guess 10%. So yeah, that'll add modifier for beheading on there, and that'll bring us up to 30% chance for beheading. Cool. So we can do that, and we can keep doing this until we get all the different uh, modifiers we want. So we'll probably do a diamond and gold block. Let's grab this, and not that, <laughs> gold. Yeah, let's do a diamond and a gold block. So it'll give us another modifier, and then we can do another obsidian plus an ender pearl. Grab one of those, and we'll be up to 40% on this thing. And then eventually, over time, as we use it, it will skill up. So, yeah, we'll get more modifiers and all of that. Um, and obsidian. There we go. Beheading too. So now 40% chance for beheading. So that should increase our wither skeleton skull production by a lot. At least that's the idea. We'll see how this all works. Uh, so we have our sword, which we're going to wait for more modifiers to be available to put more of the beheading chance on there. We have the auto spawner. We have witch water. I think it is now time to go to, I think we're just going to go into the mining world to spawn these in. Uh, yeah, we got the safari net. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and go to, yeah, the mining world. I'll dig out a little spot. We want to make sure it's covered so they don't, you know, burn to death. It's always daytime there. Yeah, let's do that and we'll be right back, guys. Feast your eyes upon my masterpiece of the cobblestone box. No? Okay. Well, it's more than a cobblestone box, really. Let's fly up here and I'll show you guys. So, yeah, we have the uh, auto spawner right there in the center. And I built up the walls a little bit just to make sure that the skeletons can't spawn, like, you know, partway on the edge or whatever. Uh, we want to make sure they're all spawning in here. So, I built the walls four blocks away in every direction. It probably could have been five away, but we went with four. So, water streams work with this a little bit better. All of this. 
So we have the Tesseract underneath. It's hard to see. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, we have the auto spawner here. We have some uh, the liquid translocators. You get the the mob essence from the drum into here. Uh, I think I already put the safari net in there. But anyway, we have the floor raised up two blocks. And then we have witch water all the way along this back side. That flows eight blocks over here. And then we drop down two blocks. And then I have witch water in this corner going towards the center. And then have witch water in this side going towards the center. I probably should have made this three blocks tall or a little, maybe four. Because when the skeletons spawn, they're going to hit that witch water. Either this big pad right here or there. And they're going to turn into the wither skeletons, which are like two and a half blocks tall. So as these guys are coming down, they're probably going to bump into the ones that are already down here. But if we're sitting there using our cleaver, our cleaver, and we are killing these guys really quickly, it shouldn't be a difference. But yeah, anyway, if I was going to redo this, I probably would have raised up this whole witch water area two more blocks. So this is the way this is set up. That We're going to spawn in the skeletons. They're going to turn into the wither skeletons. They all should flow down here. They should be centered down here at this point, And I should be able to use my cleaver and attack them. Sounds like a plan, right? Cool. I haven't tried this yet. I'm hoping this is going to work. Uh, I don't know why it wouldn't work. <laughs> we had to do some configuration settings down here. I haven't really touched whoop, into the witch water. We're withered. We're withered. Okay. Well, we can just sit here for a second. Yeah, I need to do some configuration settings here. So the power we need to set. So energy mode receive only. We'll do that. So this thing is now full of juice from our main base, thanks to it being chunk loaded and all of that. Spawn exact copy, no. We want regular skeletons to spawn. And then the only thing we should have to do, let's uh, take the safari net out. The only other thing we should have to do is press the button here and get some mob essence going in there. Cool. So uh, hover mode is on. Let's break this block. I'll stand up here for a second. And we'll put the safari net in. And then hopefully we'll start getting wither skeletons. Maybe. I think it takes a minute. It has to do the idle timer for the first time through. Uh, I should probably look at getting my my hunger, my health going. Okay, so we got a wither skeleton there. It does have a bow and it looks like they're shooting. So all these guys are going to have bows. So they aren't like the other ones that you find normally in the nether. Uh, so let's try killing these guys. So we got a withered rib, which we never got before, and necrotic bone. And a wither skeleton skull. We did it. We did it. Okay. Well, we got one. <laughs> We're going to need a few more than that. We need three of these to spawn a wither. We need four of those to make the wither the uh, the wither seeds. Is that what it was? Whoops. Uh, wither skeleton seeds. Yeah. We also need the Zavisio essence, so we're not quite there yet. And we're going to need the skeleton seeds, which is some bones and imperial. Oh, guy. I didn't think these guys were going to be able to hit me through there. Maybe I needed to put, like, half slabs or something. Um, anyway, yeah, we can see this is going to be working decently. This isn't the best setup, but it's going to get us going the way we need to go. <laughs> yeah, we'll be able to make our seeds in the future. We won't really have to worry about this nonsense ever again. Cool. Well, let me get to it. I'm going to try and get a decent amount of these wither skeleton skulls, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Well, we went ahead and we collected 10 wither skeleton skulls. I'm going to go ahead and make some seeds out of this, and I'm also going to look at spawning in a wither here pretty soon. But I figured, you know, since we're now getting necrotic bones, we were able to get these red heart canisters. Yeah, we'll be able to increase our health. We were given one of those early on as a quest, uh, but like we're going to have to make a whole lot of these things. <laughs> if we want to make the yellow ones, we got to do yellow hearts and golden apples. I don't know. Oh, we can make the yellow hearts. I did not know that. Okay, cool. Can we do the green ones in this pack? It looks like we can. We're going to need green hearts. How do we make a green heart? A golden apple plus a yellow heart. Oh, okay. That won't be so bad. And then, yeah, either four diamonds and an apple and a necrotic bone or another star. <laughs> Which one? Hmm. I think this is the way we're going to make green heart canisters eventually. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just make these, first of all. So we need to do the empty heart canister. So we can do tin around a bone to make one of these canisters. Or we can do four aluminum. This is the way we're going to go about it. If I had myself clicked on the AE system, we could do this. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and make ten of these things. Or, uh, I'm sorry. Let's just make nine. Nine of those. We had nine hearts. 
Uh, we need nine jeweled apples. So that is four diamonds plus an apple each. We have a decent amount of diamonds and we can see how to get diamonds essentially for free <laughs> using the, uh, the cheating method. We also have the mining world where you can go and mine some diamonds too. So we don't necessarily have to be cheaty, but anyway, uh, so we have the necronic bones, the jeweled apple, empty, empty canister and the miniature red heart. Let's go ahead and make nine and more of those sweet. Okay. So now we can put those on ourselves and we have 10 red heart canisters. Cool. That's the first part of one of our quests over here for the heart canisters. Yeah. We have to make the yellow and the green ones eventually. We'll get there. But for right now, I'm pretty happy, you know, having double standard normal health. All right, cool. So, oh, uh, two quests with unclaimed rewards and ascendance. When did this get unlocked? Huh. I don't know when this got unlocked. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, let's stone jetpack. We have already crafted one of those a while ago. Let's do, are we doing left reward? Yeah. Left reward. Claim it. And it's just a basic one, which is a plain reward. We've already gotten that one many, many times before. Cool. Let's go back to the quest book and yeah, hardened. We will do this one. And this is a basic has the same exact reward. <laughs> That's like the sixth time we've gotten with that same one before. Um, so I did not make the reinforced one yet. I was looking, there's a recipe that uses our hardened jetpack in it later on. So I don't know if we're going to do this. It looks like this also wants us to do the Ender IO version of the same exact jetpack for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, there's a ring of flight. This is something that I was really interested in making. I want to kill a wither and I want to get another star so we can make this thing. I assume this is just like the angel wings, except it doesn't make any wings. Yeah. So it's not expensive except for the magic core, which does require another star. So we need that some feathers, diamond and some other stuff. This is what I was going for. So now we have a quest to make this item. So we are going to make it quantum suit. Oh, this is quantum flux. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we'll look at all these quests later. Um, didn't want to click on that. Yeah. We need to kill ourselves a wither boss and I don't think we're going to do it manually. I think we are going to use the mob grinder. So let's grab this. We'll grab, oh, I left the, I left the Tesseract back in the mining world. I think we're just going to spawn it in the mining world, uh, with the mob grinder nearby power. So that'll kill it instantly. As soon as it explodes, we are going to need our Tesseract. We're going to need some of that fused quartz. This is blast resistant. And I think, I think that's all we need to do. Yeah. The wither, when it explodes, it's like TNT. It's only when it shoots a little blue skull things, it'll break blocks. So I think we should be fine. All right, let's go back to the mining world. I'm going to grab the Tesseract. I'm going to set up some stuff. Oh, I need, need soul sand. Don't I? I don't think we have any more. We might have to farm that nether essence. Oh, we do have soul sand. Okay, cool. Two, three, three, four. Let's only take three skulls with us. In case something bad were to happen. All right, let me go get some things set up and we'll see if we can kill a wither boss. All right, guys. So here we are in the mining world. Yep. We are preparing to get this wither boss set up. Uh, so our portal is only about a hundred blocks away. I'm not being super safe. I'm not trying to fly out, you know, 300 blocks or something. So if something bad happens, it'll all be in unloaded chunks. I think we'll be fine right here. So the way this is set up, we're going to spawn in our wither boss here. I have this on a cobblestone platform that's two blocks thick. So we're not like, you know, making a huge crater into the soft or dirt or whatever. I think this should be pretty good. Uh, I took some of our fused quartz that we had. We did make up 16 of that earlier and I wrapped it around our dr draconic evolution mob grinder right there. So yeah, the grinders in the center. We got eight blocks around it. Then behind we have the Tesseract providing the grinder energy. And we have that wrapped in eight pieces of fused quartz. This is blast resistant. And I do believe the wither boss won't explode this when it is first created, how it does that initial explosion. Yep. So I just kind of had some extra cobblestone. I was going to make this three layers thick, but we didn't quite have enough for that third layer. So I just took some of this and, you know, brought it around the sides here just to kind of prevent more blast damage from, you know, wrecking the place. I guess it doesn't really matter, but anyway, this is the way this is set up. So this draconic evolution mob grinder 
The way I've seen this work in the past is as soon as the wither boss does it does its explosion. Yeah, it's like this thing kills it immediately. I don't know how that works, but it's like dead immediately. There's no wait time. So I'm gonna hope that's what's gonna happen here. Let's go for it. Wither boss. Uh, if it doesn't work that way, <laughs> there's plenty of animals around for that wither boss to go after. But I'll just hang out back here for a moment and hope that everything works. It's dead. So yeah, it did wreck all of that cobblestone platform kind of like I expected it to. Uh, yeah, the blast damage is a little bit bigger than I thought. Okay, so the fuse quartz is enough that to keep all the blast damage inside. It did not break this and it died immediately. So now we have a division sigil, which I believe we already had from loot bags. We got a yellow heart. We have two nether stars. Apparently that's a thing. And this drops the, the, the <laughs> geez, it drops the Zavicio essence. That was really hard to say for some reason. Uh, all right, cool. Cool. So let's go ahead and use one of these nether stars to make this magic core. There we go. And then we will make a ring, which is just some gold nuggets and iron. I don't know if we have the nuggets actually. No, we don't. Well, let us make some nuggets. This is pretty easy to do. There we go. There's the ring. Got it. And finally, two feathers and diamond. Nice. So there is the ring of flight. Let's put this on. All right, and we will put our jetpack away. All right, so how does this work? Does that just create a flight? It's create a flight. Oh, that's good. And with the speed belt, we move around much faster than having that jetpack on. So I guess we don't need the jetpack at this point. Now, if we could get like haste on our boots, I think we might be able to move a little bit faster. Actually, I don't even know if there's haste in this mod pack since I do not believe Thomcraft is in this mod pack. Huh. Well, this is really, really awesome. I like it. It's totally worth getting this ring of flight. I assume this is the same as the, the other thing, uh, the angel ring. Okay. So without, yeah, the speed bell is definitely what's making us fly faster. Oh, that is pretty good. So yeah, we don't have to worry about having our jetpack anymore. We can just fly around indefinitely. That is a really, really, really awesome upgrade. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, we're going to go and wrap the episode up here for today. Actually, no, we're not. I lied. We're not wrapping it up here. Let's uh, go back to Ascendance and let's claim a reward for this. Uh, so Chance Cube, reward bag, claim it. And this is a epic reward bag. So we got another Tesseract frame. Awesome. 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 All right, guys. Now we're going to wrap the episode up here for today. Hope you guys liked the episode. I had a good time uh, getting that, <laughs> finally getting that mob grinder some use. Spawning in the wither boss. Yeah, lots of good stuff. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.